Hey everyone, so uh, today I'm going to do my first storybook reading. So, yeah, this book is called Go Away Unicorn. And, yes, this story, this is, I got this storybook and my book fair school here, so, yeah. By the way, yeah, let's start. Okay, so, I'm going to read it for you guys. I don't know what's falling. Alice met the unicorn at her 10th birthday party in the park. He had not been invited. The unicorn had come because he smelled cakes. It's supposed to be true. He stayed because he'd seen Alice. Now you have to be pretty dumb to think that Alice is a unicorn just because they shine a golden party hat. But unicorn can be pretty dumb. <laughs> Her friend Patty said, You've got a goldfish for your birthday? All I got was just a boring goldfish. All I got was a boring goldfish. Alice shrugged. She has no use for a unicorn. Even so, the unicorn played party games. He gave rides on his back and he lets everyone play some cherry sparkly games. But when the party was over and everyone had gone home, the unicorn was still there. Alice said, Alice said, go away, unicorn. But unicorns aren't very good here, listeners. Alice was not pleased that the unicorn had followed her home. This is silly, she said, and took off her party hat. See, I'm not some weird horse. I can't be your friend. Alice frowned. And she said, go away, unicorn. But unicorns know a friend when they see him. So the unicorn moved in. He made a nest for himself in her bedroom. Used pages from Alice's favorite book and some old shiny wrapping paper. He was very comfortable. He ate her cereal, but only the tiny pink marshmallows, which were the best part. Her, he used all of her shampoo to wash his mane. Alice said, go away, unicorn. But, wait. But unicorns are easily distracted. The unicorn hugged the remote. He checked the glue through the house and it's not all night. And he followed Alice to school. Alice said, go away, unicorn. But unicorns can be very sneaky. Alice's teacher asked, Where is your homework? A unicorn ate it, Alice replied. That unicorn would just not, would just would not go. Alice tried to tell him it was a, he was a mythical creature. That means you don't exist, she explained. But that just made the unicorn feel more special. She tried to lose him in the, in the park, but just thought it was a game. She tried to ship him to the zoo. But the zookeeper said, I'm sorry, unicorns don't exist. I know that, Alice cried, and buried her head in her hands. The unicorn could tell something was wrong. It, it's a good thing unicorns know just how to cheer up a friend. The unicorn turned, Alice's hair bright pink. Pink was her voice's most favorite color. Pink made Alice want to throw up. Alice had, ha, Alice had enough. <laughs> I don't know why this on her hunger. She stared at her head and she stared at the unicorn. She said the meanest thing she could think of. You are, are so not my friend. I would rather have a goldfish than you. Even unicorns. When they're being insulted. So the, even unicorns know when they're being insulted. So the unicorn left and he did not come back home. It was very quiet, like no snoring. And it was very dull and clear. And it was playing very quick. Alice's house with no pain. But most of all, it was very lonely with no best friend. Alice might have not known the love being best friends. She was pretty sure that the unicorn was doing a lot better job. No. 
Alice whispered, come back, unicorn. Unicorns are very good hearing. Alice hugged her unicorn. She said, sometimes even best friends fight. In her nouns and apology. Unicorns known and apology they heard. One. They heard. Yep, that's the end of the story. It's like a house video. here. So thank you guys for watching. Oh, hope you like the story. I kind of bad at uh, reading because I keep on repeating the words. That's because of my voice and not the... I'm not reading well. Okay, so... Yeah, thank you so much for watching. And please make sure to like this video and subscribe. I can make more of these if I have more books. So, bye.